Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to another video for UFC 3 career. If you guys see on the screen, man, it is time to go up against Kane Velasquez. Let's get into this video, baby. What's going on everybody? I want to welcome you guys to today's video. Now, if you guys notice, I have six weeks that I'm able to train for Cain Velasquez, which gives me ample time to get my fitness level up as well as learn moves. So I'm just showing you guys each week what I went through, what I got up. Now, I know a lot of people always say to me, bro, your blocking's trash, your head movement's trash, your footwork is trash, all you do is head hunt. So I'm going to be working on a couple of those things this week and I will let you guys know that in the following fight after this Cain Velasquez fight, I will be working on my ground game. I know a lot of people are like, bro, we get it. We see you knocking players out back and forth, left to right, back to back. But I do want to get my first submission. So it's going to take me probably a six week camp of just grinding out straight up takedown submission offense submission defense just ground game ground game ground game and i will be working on that soon enough because i want to get a submission i want to see what it feels like to get a submission um i remember in my old ufc days i did it a, a few times but it wasn't like my mainstay thing i didn't just you know go in thinking i could submit a guy but i always noticed that when i do go to the ground they have complete advantage over me man my actual ground game is terrible i think it's like in the 70s right now it is so bad man but you guys do see that i'm adding moves to my skill set just doing a couple things that i can now this is one big thing that i always tell people make sure you promote your fight i know that some people have short training camps they don't really want to promote their fight but if you have a six week camp just go ahead and waste one week on promotion because it's going to line your pockets not only it's going to make you popular so if you guys don't want to do the promotion man something's wrong with you i'm just going to go ahead and point that out now uh one big thing that you guys might notice i am close to becoming a millionaire in ufc3 now, I know a lot of people probably don't worry about stuff like that, but I've been holding on to the bag. I really haven't went to any of these new gyms and, you know, with the new move sets and stuff like that to learn any good moves. I've just been kicking it, chilling at my old gym, wasting away with all these old heads out here trying to teach me moves. But today is the day where I say, you know what, I'm about to be a millionaire. It's time for me to go ahead and up the ante on things. Now, I just wanted to let y'all know this is UFC 270. McGregor's on the card. I guess McGregor is still in the UFC. He's going up against Ferguson in a lightweight bout. And I'm going up against Velasquez in a heavyweight bout. So, we about to see what it do, what it do, man. I'm on the undercard. There's no butt on the line here. So, hopefully, I could just knock him out for the pride of things. I don't know. But did y'all like that pride reference? UFC pride? Never mind. Let's get into it. I'm Megan O'Leavy, and this is your UFC Minute. We've seen some of the top fighters in the world go from relatively unknown to some of the biggest names in the sport. There's a big difference between being a successful fighter in the UFC and being a star. But this fighter has clearly found the formula to be both, as several impressive wins in the octagon have seen him make his way up the heavyweight ladder and capture the imagination of fans eager to see him perform on the sport's biggest stage. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. As I walk through the valley with my ladder and flex, I know really swing the same that I just have in the grip. When they all thought we was finished, they was laughing at that. So I went and put me in Well, when we talk about sound defensive fighters, that conversation oftentimes begins with Dominic Cruz, but I'm going to enter this guy in the discussion because he sticks and moves with the best of them, gets the head off the center line, uses footwork and movement and defense to set up his own offense, and he stays so relaxed in there, Joe, because his defense is that sound and uses that defensive movement to create offensive angles. Very, very smart, sound defensive fighter who uses that to his advantage and figures to do that again tonight. Hard tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. 
All right, let's get into this fight, man. I wonder what Kane is going to bring today. All right, I, I see you want to get that pound, but I ain't really into that. Right, let's get it. Ooh, ooh, okay, nice body uppercut there. Oh, my God, the head kick was amazing. Hold up. Let me, let me find a range real quick with the hook. Ooh. Oh, hold up. Hold up, baby. Hold up now. Hey, I don't play like that, baby. You ain't just going to go ahead and take me down. Nice. Nice overhand. Oh, that's the setup. Whoa. Ah, he backed up. Oh, man, you look sweet for it. That body punch was trash. Oh, you trying to take me down again? Chill, bro. Chill, bro. My takedown game crazy. Oh, nice uppercut. Come on. Oh, no. Get, get your hands up off me. Oh, no. Oh, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Think about it, think about it. Get up, 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 get up. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's reset, let's reset. Oh, my God, with the takedowns, man. Come on. You act like I can't see that shoot from a mile away. Oh, body punches, okay. Oh, my goodness, the one, two looking good. Bruh, how many times you gonna shoot, fam? Oh, my God, the overhand. Oh, oh. Not enough. Oh, good body kick. Oh, hold up. He came right out that body kick with a punch. How did he do that? Uh -oh. Bro, come on, man. This is too easy. What's wrong with this dude? I'm going to hit you with that overhand, though. Ah, give me that leg. No health event. That's what we're not doing? Okay. Oh, oh my God. The overhand put him on the ground. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no shooting. You're going to get this L. You're going to get this L. Chill, bro. Yo, why he keep grabbing me like this? Oh, my God. Come on, now. watch this, watch this. He gonna be on the ground forever. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh, he got up again. Let's go. That's what you get for posturing up. Hold up. Let's reset. Uh, oh, my God. The overhand, guys. Get off of me. It doesn't work, bro. How many times are you gonna shoot? Uh. Oh, my God. Another overhand. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's time to go night-night. Hold up. Get your stamina back. Can I get another overhand? Oh, my God. Oh my god! Bro, bro, get up. One more. No, no, no. Come on, this is the one. Boom! Oh my god, that should have ended it. No, I didn't want it to end like that. Come on. I wanted to end it with a massive overhand. Not a hook. I should have just spammed overhands, man. <sighs> Look at the replay. Let's see it. A left hook at that, man. A left hook ends him. That's so cliche. Like, I don't. Oh, man. I mean, it was a nice little head knocker. He twists his neck back real quick. Jab, left hook. But I wanted that overhand. Y'all seen when I threw that overhand and I sat him down? I almost handicapped this fool. He almost was in the wheelchair for the rest of his life. Off an of overhand. You know what? Spam in the chat. Handicap. Maybe in my next fight, I might make it a handicap fight. Since I get all of my knockouts via punches, maybe I'll say I can only throw kicks. What do you guys think inside the chat? What, let me know what you guys put down there. Should I do a handicap match next for only kicks? Should I do a handicap match where I, I only have to win on the ground? Or a handicap match where I have to, I, I ain't going to say submission. I, I ain't that nice yet now. Or maybe only throw shots in the clinch. Let me let me know inside the comment section, man. I, I think that would be a great idea, man. But um, looking at the stuff, total strikes, I was really that guy. I finally got another GOAT progress. So, you know what I'm saying? This, this might be an easy road to the GOAT shit, man. I'm just saying. I think I got about three more fights until I got to fight the champ. These are like gonna be all filler fights for me to get my uh like my fighting up, my move set up, stuff like that. Hopefully every fight from here on out is a six week fight so that I can learn new moves, get my health and fitness up to the night high nineties and stuff like that. But for the most part, look, everybody on my jock now. Everybody on my jock now. Everybody think I'm the best thing smoking. But let me see what's all about this. Okay. Megan O'Leavy just asked me a nice little question. Um, and I can see that there's a bottom response that says something about a super fight. So since I'm a heavyweight, I think they might make me go down and wait if I win the belt. That might that might be pretty dope. What you guys think? I don't know. Let me know. But uh, make sure you guys drop a like on this video, man. Uh, yeah. 
I'm about to get up out of here, about to start recording the next episode. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm out. Bye. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.